Now I call on Representative Gotham. Grossman. Sure. Uh, just, a, just a brief comment on uh, the current situation in Washington, D.C. About 18 years ago, I went to Taipei, Taiwan, which would be, if I think it were an American city, would be the uh, either second or third largest city in America. It's bigger than Chicago. And uh, we had a tour guide, and we wanted to go out one night. And me and another guy, we asked the tour guide, is there any place we shouldn't go? This is in a city bigger than Chicago. And he said, no, there's nowhere you shouldn't go. Everywhere in Taipei is safe. And uh, I kind of remembered that, and I was kind of ashamed to be an American at that time. Because I knew if my friend from Taiwan had come to Washington, D.C., I would not even remotely be able to say you can go anywhere you want in Washington, D.C. at night. Uh, this year it's going to be close, nip and tuck, whether Washington, D.C. gets to 200 murders or not, which is really an embarrassment to the United States. I know countries you wouldn't want to emulate, like China or Russia. Uh, they like to talk about how embarrassing Washington, D.C. is in our high crime rate. Um, their schools, of course, are also an embarrassment. They're either the first or second highest spending schools in the country, and I think they're second worst in test scores. Uh, I, I really feel that the last thing we need is more self-rule in Washington. I think our forefathers got it right. They realized that the District of Columbia would always be, have an unusual electorate, perhaps because it would be dominated by the government. I don't know. Uh, but for whatever reason, be it the massive murder rate or the pathetic test scores in their schools despite the high spending, uh, the last thing we should do as we look out for the reputation for America around the world is give the elected officials in the District of Columbia more, more say-so, more freedom. Thanks.